ladies and gentlemen. And today, I'm going to be addressing why does social media make people feel so insecure? Why? Why does something that we use every day that is literally the basis of our connection, our social connection, make us feel so insecure about ourselves? Well, look no further than this video, because I'm about to get into it. Ready? Let's go. Now, guys, I've simply broke down why this is happening into two components. The first being people are exposed to people in better situations than them on social media all the time. Now, as humans, we are a comparison driven species. We like to compare ourselves in every aspect of what we do to our peers to get a sense of where we are in life. Now, nothing has changed about that except the fact on social media, it happens a lot more. People are constantly exposed to people in better situations, whether that's having more money than them, having uh, better looks than them, just having a better social circle, all these things people are exposed to and it makes them feel insecure about themselves. So a guy, for example, might be seeing a bunch of dudes on Instagram who have more money than him, who have more status than him. So he instantly is comparing himself to them and wondering why he's not in that position. Whereas if it's a female, for example, she might see a bunch of Instagram models who have these amazing bodies and that's what she's looking up to. She's comparing herself to that. So even though she might have a good body, in comparison to that Instagram model, she sees herself as less. And the same thing with that guy. He could be in a good position, but he's comparing himself to millionaires, billionaires even, that are on Instagram. You see what I'm saying? The second thing is a big one. People only look at the surface. What do I mean by this? Well, let's take the girl who's looking up to these Instagram models, looking at their bodies. They only see what's on the surface in the picture. They didn't see the part where the Instagram model had to go to Dr. Miami and get cut open for all that. You know what I'm saying? So people only look on the surface. A lot of things happen behind the scenes to put people in the positions that they're in. So another example is, a guy might be looking at all these dudes with money and saying, wow, she only likes them for the money. I'm better than that dude, blah, blah, blah. But you didn't see all the work, all the grinding that dude had to put in to get in the position he's at. Do you see? People are only going to put positive experiences on social media. Think about it. Look at your own timeline. Look at your own Instagram feed. You only put positive stuff on there, right? For the most part, I would hope so. Who wants to show chinks in their armor? Who wants to show vulnerability? You don't. You only want to show positive experiences to show you the good in your life when you log on to social media. Therefore, when you're seeing all these people who are in better positions than you, you have to take that with a grain of salt. Does not mean they have no problems that they have to worry about and how quickly people seem to forget that. How quickly people seem to forget when they look at someone on Instagram who's a millionaire that you don't know, this guy could have cancer, this guy could have this disease. He has this money, but understand, people have their own problems regardless of where they are. So no one has the perfect life. And it seems as though people think that if they have these things that they lack that other people do on social media, they'll have the perfect life. And that's just not true. Social media gives us the illusion of perfection when it's just not real. That's why people get so depressed because they're constantly seeing things that they perceive as perfection when it's really not the case in comparing it to themselves. And we all know we're not perfect, right? All right. Well, hope you guys enjoyed the content. It's your boy Dipsy. I'm going to catch y'all later, man. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace out.